but you just need to show that you exist on the internet. Like in today's world, unfortunately, it is about like exposure, right? right? Like you need to use the kind of digital landscape and real estate to show your skills. You need to have a website, you need to have a LinkedIn portfolio, you need to have GitHub, you should have Instagram, you should have Twitter, like you should be everywhere you possibly sure. can. And trust me, even as a social media guy, I hate that because I don't <laughs> like posting my life and stuff on social media, but you kind of just have to do it yeah, nowadays yeah. because that's how people find each other. Like, sure, you can go the traditional route and apply with resumes and whatnot, but that is just outdated, at least for me, when it comes to getting jobs. Like now, if I want to land some kind of job, I'm just going to DM someone on Twitter yeah, or I'm going to yeah. reach out to them on Instagram because yeah. I have a following. So yeah, I think people are just scared to start and they don't realize like you don't need to post hundreds and thousands yeah. of times even posting once a month about a cool project you worked on already puts you ahead of like 95% of people. For sure. And then uh, then it's all about like staying consistent. But exactly. the hardest the hardest step is definitely the first one. I even had the same thoughts when I started out like doing YouTube videos and so on. Like I know that a lot of my classmates and so on, like they started to like find my YouTube videos on, on, on like find my videos on YouTube. I was kind of like scared of that. Even like telling family and all that, like you're doing YouTube. I was not comfortable like sitting in front of the camera, like just been playing computer games and all that. Like you're starting sit in front of the camera, just do something, but I just thought like, okay, I just need to do this thing. I, I like it. The worst case scenario is that you will become a better version of yourself. Like my English has improved significantly. I know how to stand out. I know how to like act like, get a good first impression in front of a camera, like get into freelance work, all those opportunities and so on that has given me, even when I started out, it was just about, okay, can I make a YouTube channel, get some followers, maybe learn a ton because also by putting out your work out there, you feel kind of like an attraction of staying up to date with the new stuff. You need to, oh, I need to learn now. I need to learn this. I need to put out posts. Or I need to go basically just do a lot of research and basically just keep expanding your knowledge. So it also helps with just pushing you because you feel like, okay, I need to put stuff out there. I'm actually putting out stuff there. I don't want people to laugh at me. Of course, like most people they have these thoughts, but it's not really the, the real world. Like, mm -hmm. of course you will get someone like saying stuff, but maybe you get like one one out of hundred act like, which is act like a negative, um, but it doesn't really matter. As, as I normally say, like if you're doing the exact same thing as everyone else, how, how can you expect to, to get something that everyone else doesn't have? So it's all about that. 100%, yeah, it's definitely a motivator.